Um, it is a beautiful Sunday morning. Uh, we've been pretty lucky these past few weekends where we've been getting such uh, nice weather and been spoiled by it. Uh, today's ride, we are heading over. It's a new route we're scouting out. Um, we are riding to Roxbury, Connecticut. Uh, so that's here in Danbury going through Brookfield and Bridgewater and into Roxbury. So we'll ride around that area, kind of scout out a new route. I know there are a lot more dirt roads there. I have planned the route so that we go around those dirt roads uh, maybe another time, but it's going to be a three and a half hour ride. We are preparing for taper week uh, next week uh, before we do our CTGF. So one of the things that I've really struggled with uh, during our rides is fueling, um, especially when we do uh, rides that are longer than four hours. And so I've really struggled in the past with uh, taking in enough nutrition so that uh, it, it's enough to hold me over for the rest of the ride. So I'm gonna really try today to really stay on top of it. It's hard for me to take solid foods, um, but I'm gonna try really hard to, um, you know, to, to eat. Drinking isn't really an issue for me. Um, I know that there are people who've suggested um, drinking the calories instead of eating, but I want to take in some solid foods as I don't have enough uh, water bottle mounts to carry drinks. And so um, I, do, I did bring uh, two Cliff Bars and three gels. So I'm gonna try really hard today to stay on top of my nutrition. today and uh, stopped here at uh, at Lake Lilanona and it's a uh, beautiful day sunny breezy so it's it's a little bit on the cool side but that's fine it'll keep us uh, from overheating and uh, this is pretty exciting because we're we're in uncharted territory for us over here it's a new route I've I've never seen this area before even though it's um, not too far from where we live uh, so yeah so far so good it looks like there's gonna be a fair amount of climbing on this ride uh, we've already encountered a, a few steepish um, hills but they weren't too long so um, we'll see how it goes I think there's supposed to be a more sustained longer climb coming up um, later into the ride uh, so looking forward to that can't believe I just said that, that I'm looking forward to climbing, but that's, that's what it is these days. Uh, it's become something that I enjoy doing along with joy. All right, we'll, uh, we'll catch you later in the ride.
something happened to our Wahoo. It's no longer showing uh, our route, but it does show us the cue sheet. It's not prompting us to make any turns or anything. So I don't know what the deal is with that. We didn't turn it off or anything. And Jason is having the same issue, yeah. same problem uh, with his. So you kind of see that it's just showing our map and, but not the route that we're supposed to follow. Uh, luckily, I studied this route before we went into it. Uh, Google Maps is really good with that. So, I think we're going the right way. supposed to go up second hill you know where that we made a left turn we were supposed to keep going straight there's a road that goes straight yeah you know that big in the intersection we have to go back down there and then we have to make a left turn well we got lost we had to go up what three hills one of them was like quarter, three quarters of a mile long yeah uh, so, I think we're on the right track now. Map's still not loaded. stopped here or there's a stream or a little river that's passing through a nice spot to to just set the bikes uh, against a tree and get something to eat but um, we came across some pretty terrible uh, navigation error because our Wahoo somehow lost GPS signal and so because of that, we are unable to figure out where our next turn is. However, we still have the cue sheet up, so that's helpful. So I have the cue sheet up and then Jason has the map. So he'd tell me when an intersection comes up. So that's when I know that there's a turn. Um, so that's kind of been helping, uh, but it's frustrating because I don't know. Well, it's kind of like a nice, I guess, adventure since we do have the time today to kind of get lost in these roads, but um, a little frustrating at the same time because, uh, you know, we really can't fully enjoy the ride if we have to constantly be on the lookout uh, for any turns. Yeah, I would say pretty much the same thing. It, it kind of stinks that we have to uh, always be looking down at the cue sheet to see where, um, you know where we need to turn and, and always looking for for the roads 
um, rather than just being prompted. Yeah, I guess we take uh, we take that navi navigation for granted. And today we don't have it, so it's it's a little little tougher. But and we also had to do uh, some extra climbing, as I think Joy mentioned earlier, because uh, we had to turn around and go back up some hills. But uh, it's still fun. Uh, and we're seeing a few cyclists out here too. Roads are nice. Yeah, roads are nice overall, yeah. in Lake Lenona. Uh, got through after many wrong turns. Uh, we're back to where we started from and strangely enough the route came back on which is kind of useless now since uh, I know how to get back home but um, whatever I don't know if it's because there's we just lost uh, reception around this area. I don't know if you guys know um, what the deal is with Wahoo with that so that's a bummer but that's okay um, we went through some really awesome routes the roads were great a uh, little on the breezy side like I said earlier but um, yeah no it's been fun to go through this these new roads So while we were at Lake Lenona, we you know we stopped there our one last time before we came home. Well, my Wahoo froze, and so it didn't record the the ride from Lake Lenona back home. And so it's just like so frustrating today has technology issues, and um, it was just so frustrating to deal with the entire ride. Um, but I was trying not to uh let that get to me because the ride itself was just amazing uh that was such a great route to go through and so we ended up now this is through jason's because mine turned off so if you follow me on strava um, it's not accurate so i'm just going to go by jason's it's 51 and a half miles long that we did and with 5500 feet of climbing oh my god that those roads had so many hills and they were long hills and so we kind of just uh took it easy today because one one of it being that we, we got lost um and so we had so many we made so many wrong turns and uh so 
our speed was 12.1 miles per hour and it took us four hours and 18 minutes to do but um, if the Lahu continues to do this I'll be kind of bummed um, because I really really liked it uh, in the beginning but now that it's giving us some problems I'm not sure um, you know how I feel about that especially when it's a new route and we're exploring new roads and you know that's something that we you know any nobody wants to to get caught in the middle of but thankfully um, my I had my phone and so I pulled up Google Maps and it told me where I was located and so we were able to kind of backtrack our way home that way uh, so thank God for that yeah so I have to go in and I'm gonna try to get something to eat uh, but yeah by the way speaking of eating um, I feel really good now that I've eaten my two cliff bars and I've had uh, how many gels I did two gels today and I feel great and so I think I'm gonna try to make sure that I continue to do that although it wasn't a hard hard kind of day um, recovery day uh, so it was um, easy to to take food in especially the solid foods down that was um, there was some good and bad in that ride as, as Joy mentioned uh, Joy did do a good job planning that route I mean that was a really good route it, the the roads in in the Roxbury area were nice and smooth very little traffic a lot of climbing so I mean it's a good a good place to go to practice climbing you know because there were a number of um, not super long climbs but a number of uh, moderate moderately steep climbs that were probably like a half mile to a mile in length so a pretty pretty good solid climbing there if you haven't already please like and subscribe we would really appreciate it. I think our subscribers are up to, is it 52 or 53? 54. Oh, 54. Um, yeah, it's starting to grow. And uh, yeah, thank you to, to everyone who's watched our videos and subscribed. Um, Joy works really hard to produce those videos. Uh, all I do is go along for the rides, okay? Like, Joy does so much work to produce the videos and um, they're really fun. For me to watch just to look back at our rides but um, I'm glad that there's some people out there that also enjoy watching the videos and um, we appreciate you taking your time to watch our videos and uh, you know, we'll continue to try to um, to provide uh, content and entertainment that um, that you like <music>